WWM Proving Ground New Year Super Spectacular. <laughs> we have a stat show this evening. Oh, 
Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking, kicking off WWN Proving Grounds New Year's Super Spectacular. We got a spectacular tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, joined by my side, the man, the myth, the legend, the hardcore giant himself, Ron Nimi. How you doing, Ron? Doing great, and captain. How about the energy here tonight? These people, they're not holding it back for New Year's. They are here to party tonight. Just Wow, we're just getting started. Definitely the party is here at the WWN Training Center. We got a great opening contest here. We have the heartthrob Riley Daniels going one-on-one -on -one with the leader of the Sons of Battle, Nick Quinones, as he drops him right on his head. Good Lord, wait a minute. Right back up, Riley Daniels, the flamboyant style goes right behind him. Whoa, I've never seen something like that before. Beautiful arm drag, technically sound. Beautiful single drop kick, but you gotta wonder, strength in numbers, big shoulder tackle, but the Sons of Battle, three deep. Nick Quinones cowardly rolling to the side, the strategist, leader of the Sons of Battle. What a year these guys have had. They aligned with each other, and then, then, then you get the big powerhouse. You got Bison Clutch. The kill streak is alive, ladies and gentlemen, and it's on the line tonight. Now, Nick Quinone is circling around here. You know, I tried to talk to Bison earlier, and this guy just stared down on me with lasers, and I'm gonna tell you, he had absolutely no desire for conversation whatsoever, the intensity on this guy. Absolutely, a very intimidating guy. He is the ultimate package, he likes to call himself, and there goes Nick Quinones toying with Riley Daniels. This is disgusting, yeah. This is a despicable human being. Oh. The dirty stuff they pulled all year long. Will Riley Daniels pull the win off tonight and shift the momentum, opening up the, the new year? Will it be the new year for Riley Daniels? Be a huge win for him here tonight, but right now the favor clearly in Keonis, but follows him. I mean, Sid kind of caught him with the point of the elbow right in the face there. Oh! Look at that, just a cheap shot. Good way to break a rib and Keonis covers, but you gotta wonder there, did, why don't you hook the leg when you have the opportunity for the win? I don't know if it's lackadaisical or if it's just a disrespect thing because there's been a lot of that in this match. Absolutely, I think you're gonna have to take your shirt off and go down there and show them how it's done, Ron Nimi. Well, <laughs> it's a lot safer up here with you, my friend. <laughs> oh, oh, what a clothesline, decapitating Riley Daniels, Nick and Jonas standing strong and look Come at the, on. What a, oh, look at the confidence oozing off of Nick and Jonas. Definitely something oozing off of him. I'm not sure it's confidence, but just disgusting display. No sportsman grabbing him by, looked like he's grabbing him right by the ears and left his midsection open. Riley Daniels. Oh, oh Jesus. my goodness. Lord. That's gotta be it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, with, goes for the cover, and Riley Daniels somehow still in this contest. What a night. This is just our opening match, ladies and gentlemen. We have SciShow here in the house. World Heritage Champion, opening up the show. What a great way to close out the year. You want to talk about a local legend here in Port Ritchie. Everybody knows about the guy throughout the world. 
one of the most accomplished indie wrestlers to come out of Florida in a long time, and long time Florida Heritage Champion, but hold on a second. Riley, close him up, is this it? Looking to make his moment. Will this be? Riley Daniels opening shot, and no! Yuranagi, right in the center of the ring. Nick Quinones, look at that, just hitting a man while he's down. Look at the welts on his back. And you see Riley was dangerously reaching back with, the, the instinct is to reach back to protect yourself, but that's how you break an arm. Oh, Riley Daniels now, turning the tables here. That's the opening he needs from coast to coast. Goes for a spinning bulldog. Had all the momentum, he hooks the leg too. That wasn't enough to put him away. Now Riley Dan is gonna have to dig in the drawing books if he's gonna wanna beat a man who's had a great year like Nick Quinones. Oh, what are we gonna see here? 450 action. Riley Daniels struggling to get to the top. Makes it from the heavens. Riley Daniels, but hold on, Nick Quinones. Oh! Wasted precious time. Too much time indeed. Now Nick Quinones capitalizing. Wait a minute. Oh, goodness. Lawn darted him right into that middle buckle. I think Jim Bragg may be the only man without a broken neck in the ring at this time. My God. Nick Quinones, look at him like a snake slithering him. Goes for the Cobra Clutch. Oh, right on the knee. That's this is it. it. That's got to be it. Referee check it. Not yet. That's it. He's happened. Yeah, Jim right. Bragg says. Ring the bell for God's sake. What an impressive victory! Fiona, standing strong and waving that flag. Hey man, when you can back it up, talk all you want. There goes Nick Quinones, leaving off the year strong. But the Sons of Battle not leaving ringside. Wait a minute. Nick Quinones ordering the Dog of War, Alpha T. Looks like we're going to see Alpha T in action right now. Rotating in. The members. Trying to make it 2-0. Oh. This guy's just got a bad attitude. You can just feel it. man alive. I'm not, I'm not going to argue with him. Definitely not. Leroy Shogun. Heard a lot about this young man. Runs with incredibly talent throughout the Southeast. Here we go. There goes the bell. Leroy Shogun, the baddest man alive. Studied in five disciplines. Master Two of them, he beat three men in one night. Wow. International karate tournament, this man, one thing he has is the experience and the mean streak. What a shoulder block, full steam. Like a linebacker, absolutely leveling El Petit. Whoa! Big leg lariat, El Petit's in trouble. Leroy's just, I'm just warming up, folks. 
That is a bad man indeed. Alpha T is going to need to dig deep if he's going to want to impress the leader of the Sons of Battle, Nick Quinones. Oh, what a suplex. Beautiful snap suplex. Calling his shot. I'm not going to argue with him. I'm on, I'm on the same oh. boat as you, Ron. This guy just, I've been told by so many, get your eyes on Leroy Shogun and do it as often as possible. Oh, oh what a leap into the elbow drop. Goes for the cover. Leroy Shogun looking to put him away early. Got to hook the leg. I don't know if you have any influence over this young man, but that was, I mean, that's a big opportunity. Big opportunity indeed. Leroy Shogun, now that's a guy I've been watching since he first broke in. He's been dominating the scene here in Florida alongside Logan Cruz and Wheezy T, the gifted, setting a, blazing a trail here. And hold on, Alpha T grabs the boot, well scouted. What is he going for? Going for a sucker punch, but no! Great right. Shogun, unfortunately. I know I'm supposed to be impartial, but look out! Goodness! German suplex, the mass in that ring, ladies and gentlemen. But I felt the ground shake from up here, Ron. Hold on to me tight. He, he caught his foot when trying to re-enter the ring, and it really was just a just missed opportunity. But El Pati kind of, he wasn't really set in the trap and just kind of got lucky on that sequence. Definitely. Now Al T capitalizing right now. You don't want to take a second away from Shogun. You don't want to give him a chance to recover, but... What is Alpha T going from here? Sitting him up on the top turnbuckle. Oh, goodness, what a clubbering blow. Got the big man in a real precarious position. And Alpha T just dropping some nuclear bombs across the back. Oh. And throws him aside like yesterday's track. Careless throw, dangerous. All that way to Shogun crashing down on that shoulder. There's what you, exactly what you were just talking about. Look at the time being wasted. And, and I'm going to tell you, if you're stomping on the back of Leroy Shogun, you better make it count. Big knee right to the small of the back. And when you're talking to the small of the back of Leroy Shogun, it really isn't that small of a back. And now, if your eyesight is as good as mine, you'll notice Alpha T not wearing any knee pads. That's raw knee going straight to the lower back. Taking out Shogun, but Shogun somehow back to his feet, barely. Hold on, oh, shot right to the mix section from Shogun, looking to show some fight into it. It's gonna take a lot to put that man away. Taking a lot just to reload, but then just slaps the taste out of his mouth. Shogun off the ropes, misses the line, but hold on. Oh, goodness. Train wreck right in the middle of the ring, cover, still doesn't hook the leg, and Shogun relatively easy kicking out. Going right back to the side headlock. Alpha T is smart. You don't want to give him a second, but Shogun right back to the midsection. But hold on, Alpha T! Sidewalk slam! And now look at that stretching, that spinal cord, bending Shogun in half. Yeah, that's not the way that a man built like Leroy Shogun is supposed to be bent in that crazy angle. The spine the back alpha t right now dominating this might be a great night for the sons of battle if he knocks off leroy shogun here alpha t had an impressive year he's had victories over the wwm proven ground multimedia champion jonathan hudson earlier this year this is before he was the champ of course still impressive victories now a win over shogun will definitely catapult him as one of the top five entering the year Big bear hug. I don't think I've seen this since Bruno San Martino versus Ivan Koloff. It's you going back about 43 years, folks. Oh! That's probably why we haven't seen it so much. <laughs> Thunderous clap. Shogun showing some fight. Shogun's back in here. Look at that! Back elbow. He's a bad man indeed. And look at that bison clutch jaw jacking. Hold on now. Oh! Big elbow to the corner. And oh! What a kick! Look at this, coast to coast, Alpha T sending Shogun to the corner, boot up, oh my goodness, right into the jaw. But he keeps ending up in enemy territory, and oh my god, right as I'm running my big fat mouth. What a maneuver here, ladies and gentlemen. I think he calls that the careless whisper. A very unique, I, I can't even describe what I just saw right now, but hold on, Alpha T rolling out. Shogun crawling for that pinfall. I think he had him beat. 
but he was ordered to roll out of the ring by Nick Quinones. Careless whisper, that's gotta be the most delicious <laughs> name I've ever heard for a wrestling maneuver. Harkens back to the, the days of the great George Michael. Look at this right here, and, and Alpha T, oh! Leroy Shogun just clobbered Nick Quinones. Look at these two big men. Why would El Pati break the count there? He's about to pick up a almost surefire count on victory. Leroy's just come into his senses now. Clearly lost his temper, but El Pati doing himself no favors. Hold on. Now he tells him to start counting again. Hold on, what? wait a minute. What, what's come happening on. to Shogun? Bellis is just standing there. And he just dropped. Wait a minute, I think Nick Quinones grabbed his foot. Preventing Shogun, hold on, look, Shogun is furious. And you gotta have the awareness. I just mentioned it before he hit that incredibly sexy, careless whisper, but he putting himself in harm's way right in the corner of three of the most dangerous individuals here at Proving Ground. What a victory. Cheap victory, count out victory with the aid of the Sons of Battle. That that makes him 2-0 and oh right two now. And oh. They're dominating this episode of Proving Ground in just the beginning. These three planning the party all the way to New Year's. Where, by the way, the Michigan Wolverines are gonna beat the tender asses of the Crimson Tide of Alabama. What a run these three men are on tonight. look like this guy to walk around with a name like Bison. What an animal. What a physical specimen. Sorry for, I was walking all over the ring announcer. I get a little fired up from time to time, folks. Bear with the old man. Tyler Uriah, talented individual, but again, the numbers game. Definitely a year he's had, he's had some ups, he had some downs, he was one tough, and now he's two tough, Tyler Uriah, making his return after being taken out a couple of weeks ago. Going one-on-one, -on -one looking for redemption against Bison Clutch. And look at the stare down between Nick and Jonas. Yeah, the no man, love lost at all. The hatred he has for the Sons of Battle. Tyler Uriah, look at the shape that man's in. He's definitely been hitting the gym lately. Yeah, he's totally distracted. Again, you got to... The mental game is half the battle. You get sucked into... Oh! Oh, what a German suplex to open up this contest. Splitting Tyler Uriah in half, folding him. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen, the impressive strength of Bison Clutch representing the Sons of Battle. Now he's choking him while Nick Quinones has his flag right out there. Putting that flag right in his face. Again, you talk about arrogance and disrespect, but the Sons of Battle proven. They're putting their money where their mouth is. Look at this. Oh no, he wants silence. Oh, goodness. Oh my goodness, the Tyler. massive hands coming across Tyler Uriah's chest. Oh! Like a thunderclap or a shotgun blast, Uriah returns fire. But he's still feeling the effects. Nobody home swinging a miss. Oh! oh, exploding suplex. His head was almost an 
inch from the canvas. That was scary, and look at Bison Clutch now. Oh my, just hammering away shades of Taz. Clubbing blows to the head of Tyler Uriah. Look at the disrespect, look at that, Ron. Slapping away, oh! Big boot, leather meets flesh. Bison in firm control of Tyler Uriah. Trying to find his second and possibly third win because he just had every bit of it kicked right out of his body. Now, Ron, I gotta tell you, man, I gotta give you a little history lesson here. Tyler Uriah, the year he's had, 2023, he had some highs, tag team action with Cam Stewart and then went singles and had a losing streak. He tried refing, he tried ring announcing, he ran gear for God's sakes. He lost his toughness. He found it back when he stood up to the Sons of Battle. That's why this match is happening tonight, ladies and gentlemen. He's looking to be the first one to end the kill streak of Bison Clutch. Will he be victorious here tonight? But it's highly unlikely as Bison Clutch sends him off. The size and strength advantage of Bison Clutch is simply too much for Tyler Uriah, who has absolutely no idea where he's at, but referee Jim Bragg checking close and cover. You're not gonna finish off Tyler Uriah like that. I don't care how much damage or abuse he's taking. There's too much heart in this young athlete, but just discarded, almost just throwing him aside. Ron, look at that, that was a too tough kick out. Still in this match, but Bison Clutch, what a massive vertical suplex. The strength, the speed, the agility, and the cockiness, look at that. Oh, Tyler Uriah firing back, showing some fight in here. Look at that, referee breaking that hold. Cheap shots over the head, bringing Tyler Uriah's bell, and look at Alpha T and Nick Quinones on the outside. Give them credit, they haven't stuck their nose into the business of this match, but quite frankly, they really haven't needed to. But still, psychological warfare being engaged at the ringside area. Quinones. Look at the taunting, he's waving that flag. Will we see a clean sweep here tonight? And I think so, the Sons of Battle dominating this first half of Proving Ground, opening up 2024 dominantly as Bison Clutch. Will we see the big man in the title picture eventually? Will we see anybody end the kill streak that he's been having since his debut? Look at the massive shoulders. This man eats, sleeps in the gym. He makes grown men cry. I seen it happen, I was one of them. Oh my goodness, back elbow from Tyler Uriah. Was he setting her a trap or was that just Desperate, I mean, desperate times call for desperate measures. So if it was desperation, I totally understand. Desperate mood indeed, Tyler Uriah trying to regain consciousness, but hold on, side steps. 100 miles per hour, truck wreck right into that steel post. Those massive shoulders, I kind of feel bad for the steel post. Good way to dislocate your shoulder, but you're right. I. Pretty sure this steel ring post probably got the worst end of that. Beautiful straight right jab. Got the big man wobbling. Hold on, Tyler Uriah coming back now. Hold on. Not enough to send the big man into the corner. Still fighting too tough. Up and over. Where's he going? Looking back now. Whoa! Shades of Cam Stewart with that jumping NG right to the temple, but not enough to bring the big man down. Hold on. What the, oh my goodness, Spine Buster, Tyler Uriah might have it here tonight, Ron. He's just gotta make the cover, but clearly discombobulated, trying to get his senses about him. This is the window of opportunity. You have to seize it. I must be hearing things, but the people of Newport Richie are chanting for Tyler Uriah as he's setting up for that discus clothesline. Wait a minute. Bison Clutch well scouted with the reversal fireman carry. Tyler not giving up. Into the ropes. What the? Whoa! Totally unloads from right field. Decapitating the big man. All he's got to do is crawl over. Cover. Yeah! No! Come on! Oh, come on! The Sons of Battle! The Sons of Battle! Tyler was so close. He had him beat. Come he on. had him be and look at them like a pack of rabbit dogs firing off on Tyler Uriah. And they may lose the battle by disqualification, but by what I'm looking at, they've won the war. 
the Sons of Battle just laying waste here in the first three matches, but Tyler Uriah, he needs some help, folks. Oh, goodness. Hey, Have you, you saw me before? trying to get down the steps earlier. I'm not going. Oh, oh. F5 right in the middle of the ring, Ron. Ron, he stopped you right in the middle of your sentence. Have you seen anybody as impressive as Bison Clutch? No. Complete ridiculous display of power and violence. This team, this unit, all three individuals are clearly a force to be reckoned with in proving ground. Sons of battle. I just, I'm at loss for words right now. Tyler Uriah is such a hard fight. May have got the victory, but you know as well as I do, Captain, that's, that's not the way he wanted it to go down. And I'm guaranteeing you, this is not the last that we've heard from Tyler Uriah, and it's definitely not the last that these individuals, they better be looking over their shoulder. I can't believe it. That was the first time since his, since his first match here that Bison Clutch has been covered for a pin. Nobody has been able to knock this man down. The kill streak is technically still alive. Nobody's pinned. Bison Clutch, the kill streak continues into 2024. Everything that I'm doing, everything that I'm planning in my head, they know what's happening beforehand. How do I do? How do I get a win? Do I gotta get a partner? Do I gotta hit the gym more? I don't know, man. I'm tired of losing. Something's gotta change in 2024. That's what I'm talking about right there. Yes, you sir. see? It doesn't yes, matter what kind of win. Some you got matter. the dub. I got the dub. Something you matter, baby. You are winning no matter what. Last man Tell standing. Tyler Uriah man. has nothing on you. Too soft. You beasted please. him. You destroyed him that whole match. Whole match. But tonight, tonight we show what the SOB is about. This is the era of the SOB. We're wrestling now with Sons of Battle taking over. The siege is not. For a long time, I wondered if Tyler Uriah was still tough enough to go out there and take on anybody, any place, anywhere. And tonight, I proved to myself, I proved to everybody out there, the Bison Clutch, it was this close. I had you, I had you right there. And of course, that SOB step in, huh? I don't care if it's one of you, I don't care if it's you, Bison Clutch, by yourself. I don't care if it's all three of them. The next time I'm in the ring with you three, it won't be that close. It's going to be over for all three of you SOBs.
What a change of direction here. Proving ground, New Year's super spectacular. It's been quite a night so far. We're only in the first half, Ron. How you feeling? I just realized that we probably are gonna wanna take it. We might wanna slow down just a little bit. How can you though with the action that's just right out of the, I mean right out of the shoot. Just starting off hot and it's continued from there. And don't look like we're gonna be slowing down at all with this matchup. Ron, I, do you see what I see? I see, what the heck was that? I. I we have a, a very unique cast of creatures in the ring right now. We got the Mad Men at work going against Couch Change. And if, is Dan Lighted wearing a, is that a dress? I think it is a dress. I was looking at that quite, a really nice sundress. Really? Look at these two. He just said he got a screw loose would be an understatement. I don't think a screw, definitely a few, few condiments short of a taco combination here. We got, what is, look at the big stop up and down. Scyther, I, I don't understand a word he says, but I don't think I understand Chase McCoy either. Somehow, Chungus do, does. I mean, if you out weird, Scyther, you, you're a complete screwball, weirdo. Weirdo indeed, but Mad Men at work are not people you want to take lightly. No, great Fran tag team, like a well-oiled machine. Former tag team champions here, looking to get back to the mountaintop and reclaim the tag team goal. Oh, that's, that's not sanitary. Well, Scyther's gonna need a technic shot, but I don't think that's gonna work for him. I think, thought I saw Chase doing a little Georgie Animal steal there a couple minutes ago, and sure enough, he's gnawing on the ham hock of uh, Scyther, who look at him, what's showing the referee. Ref's like, what do you want me to do? That can't taste lovely, I'll tell you that much. Now these two circle again, Scyther trying to figure out Chase McCoy. I don't think any of these two can figure each other out. Knee to the gut. Well, you're gonna have to get a cheap shot in and look, grabbing the top wrist lock. Look yeah, how, the how would you like to have been the referee to draw the short straw to get assigned this match? Good luck trying to control things. Look at that. Oh, he wait. said, let him do it. Let him do it? What is, Ron, what's happening here? He's he's into it. He's, he's biting him too. He's returning the favor, but I think he likes it. What a creep. Tell him to do it again. This is a family-friendly show, ladies and gentlemen. We don't condone this, but Scyther looks unaffected, confused, showing a little fury, and there goes the tag. And it, he was telling me last week something about cosplaying Barbie, and, and you get the feeling like this is all part of some like sicko custom match order that me and you are completely unaware of. Because this I, is this has got to be a joke. I'm very uncomfortable and not in the good way. Look at these, these two actually communicating with each other. Weirdest match in Proving Ground last week. Dan Lydon thought he was on Jeopardy or Family Feud. He's grabbing us up a little bit of a playbook, if you will. Wait a minute, a playbook? playbook. Ron, I, what's, what's going on? Is that your playbook? No. My God, I hope not. What is happening? <laughs> Scyther Sy wants to get it on. <laughs> oh wait, they're letting them come in to see the playbook. The playbook of Ron Neamey, ladies and gentlemen. Full of tricks, Dan Light in here. What is he going for? Light, right in between Chungus. Scyther, I wouldn't want to be in between those two guys. I think the referee so, is, is so confused he forgot to count. But they seem to understand each other. That's what's the most amazing thing. Ah. Yes, I now I see. <laughs> so confusing, but Chungus now, the man of reason. <laughs> what? Was it all a ruse all along? Not a ruse. If it was a ruse, it didn't work in their favor. Now couch change on the ropes. Madmen ready to clock in and go to work. Chungus somehow the man of reason in all this. Wait a minute. No. Wait a minute! It looks like the rectal claw. Let's hope not, but... Oh, and it stinks too. Oh, come on. I don't think any of these men shower. This is... <laughs> what? What? This is the weirdest thing. Oh! Sean gets not a small man colliding with Scyther. Now, Dan Lydon going for a vertical suplex. Oh! 
Little peep show under that dress. Not pretty, goes for the cover, but not enough to put him away. Oh, this is, this is, ladies and gentlemen, you can only find this action here at Proving Ground. You talk about four individuals, but three of them seem to be able to communicate. Wait a minute. Biden. That's one of his plays from earlier. No! Oh, oh cover your Come eyes! Come on now! Horn, cover your eyes! Oh, that's disgusting. This doesn't arouse me even a little bit. Worst custom match ever. Now tuning up the band, Dan Lighten. Psycho Hold indeed. Up. Oh! Whole body into the face crusher. Planting Scyther in the middle. Goes for the cover. And he's hooking the leg, Ron. But not enough to put him away. Scyther back to his feet on Dream Street, though. Chungus still trying to make sense of all this like the rest of us. Blind tag. Biden unaware, here comes Jungus. Catches him. Beautiful backbreaker, Scyther. Somehow, where did he find that? He's taking so much punishment. Goes for the cover. There's the one count, but hold on. Chase McCoy, well scouted. Pulls him over, but hold on. And no matter how unorthodox the madmen at work are, they are just truthfully, they're a well-oiled machine in there. No matter which direction they go, they're gonna get the job done. Former champs now, but hold on. He, we've seen this before. Oh. Whoa! Oh, yeah. Sexy Chungus. And hold on, one take him. Oh get your hand God, off me. Look at that. Ladies. This is a very disgusting creep show. <laughs> creep show tag team match. I'm dealing with on. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to remain professional over here, but Scyther is not man man going to work. Choking him with the t shirt of Chungus. Did you see how Chase came in to try to help his partner? He took literally the longest possible route. <laughs> then looks totally surprised when he's cut off by the rep. Scyther's gonna use every bit of that count, referee. Get used to it. Referee not seeing the tag, but going, relying on faith here with that clap. I think with all the craziness that's happened, it's hard to keep up, ladies and gentlemen, but Dan Lydon getting up back to his feet, but back down from Scyther. Unique individual. Like I said, these guys had a mean streak all year long. Dan Lydon returning from a car accident, giving Gunther right there in the corner, that little raccoon in the corner, Dan, giving him lessons, but hold on. Referee trying to get some decorum. Scyther taking advantage. Choking the life out of Dan Lydon now. And there goes Chungus, come on behind the ref's back. That's disgusting. Referee doing everything he can to get Chase McCoy out of the ring. And he did absolutely nothing to help his partner there. This guy's just, he's in left field. I don't know what's more disgusting, Ron. The pale legs of Dan Lighting or the disgusting tag team strategy behind the ref's back from the madmen at work. You can't be disgusted by it if it works. Somebody, you figured eventually this would have to break down into a wrestling match, and that's what's happening at this point. Nice, I like the fire by Lydon. Get it, you know with the size of a man like Chungus, Lydon better hold on, ripping at the eyes, or as I call it, the great equalizer. <laughs> well, right for the eyes indeed. Dan Lydon's gonna have to do something to pull out a miracle to get from this body scissors from Chungus. Look at the precision on that back elbow, right into the jaw. Chung is going for a block now. A big, big hand of his, like a catcher's mitt. All he's gotta do is stick it up in front of him and it'll block anything coming in a general direction. I agree, My Chungus. little hands wouldn't do that. Neither They're too mine. tiny. Yours is, mine's just smaller than yours. No, right? stop it. Oh, we don't have the cameras on our hands right now, ladies and gentlemen, because the action's in the ring. Chungus not letting go of the body. He says, Ron, look at that. Come on Disgusting, now. look at these uh, men. Do you, do you admire it or do you get disgusted by it? Because again, the Referee was distracting. They're taking the opportunity given to them. Look at that, club to the back again, Scyther. Dan Lydon's gonna need a miracle if he's gonna make that tag. That's the only way to turn it over this match. We might have find it. What was that noise? Oh, spine buster. Big spine buster and talking about a miracle and you know it, it's the, it's the holiday season, maybe. Maybe we'll be sent a miracle. Maybe not quite as extravagant as little baby Jesus Christ of Nazareth, but maybe a comeback win for Dan Lydon. Dan Lydon hopefully puts on some pants after this for the holiday season. Definitely don't want to see him in the dress. Tag made. 
Chase oh. McCoy back in here. Oh. oh, jumping clothesline, full head of steam. Oh, wait a minute, Russian leg sweep. Cover the head, this might do it. Not enough to put Scyther away. Hey, how about that offensive flurry? Chase McCoy, like, Chungus. a machine gun in there, sets him, bolt up. On the ropes, what's he got in mind? The fans don't know, but they like it. Oh, oh my God. Throwing oh. caution to the wind. Kind of thought it was a glancing blow on that cross body, but that beautiful punch, Shemp style, right through the faces of both madmen at work, and he's up in the high rent district. Whoa, oh, buddy, oh. Madmen opening up the gates, looking to turn this over. Big Angie from Chungus and a drop kick from Dan Lydon. It's pure pandemonium here in Proving Ground, WWN, the action here. Is phenomenal, but Scyther turning it over. Wait a minute! Stunner! Oh, this is it! This is it, Mad Men! Oh! You could count to a hundred, Captain, that's it.
Proving Ground Showcase. This is what it's all about. Oh, that's the, that's just dirty. That's nasty, baby. That's the dirty man right there, Ron Nimi. What a year this man had. And look at the physique on Tito Torres. Another impressive year. This is what it all boils down to. What a way to close out a year. This is a very interesting contest. Very clash of personalities, if you will. You got the dirty man, Devin Diaz. What a, what a just a total sleaze ball. You know it from the first time. You, oh, look at that. Oh, that's the moves here, but I'm gonna tell you, if there's one man that can out, look at that. Oh, natural, it just comes natural to some people, folks. Oh, he's dirty, he's filthy, he's the dirty man, Devin Diaz, here in New Thought Richie. Look at that, a little shimmy into the lockup. Side headlock, as I like to call it, ladies and gentlemen. Tito Torres, look at that, utilizing his feet to get out of there. What a year he has. Tag team champions with Benji Neptune, turns his back on his own brother after a hard fought match for those tag titles, trying to reclaim it. He took his leg out with a steel chair. It's, these guys have been battling back and forth almost for the second half of the year now. And it's hard to, you know, you love Benji Neptune, but it's hard to argue with the, I mean, the career tra trajectory. Since splitting off from the team, Tito Torres has just been, he's got a rocket strap to his back right now. Look, Look at this beautiful chain wrestling. Look at that dirty double leg takedown, back to that dirty headlock. Hey, I, li I like this guy so much too. He's high school wrestling star at Robinson High School in Tampa, home of so many professional wrestling legends. And this young man hopes to follow in those footsteps. But I also get reports on a regular basis from my boy Mike Shane at 2001 in Tampa. A regular visitor to 2001 right there on your screen, folks. Wait Jawbreaker. A, wait a minute, 2001, that sounds familiar. I think oh, I yes. drove down there a couple of times. Tito Torres off the ropes oh. into a dirty back elbow. Beautiful, he's so fluid in there and so young in his career, yeah. but he makes a lot of it look easy. Scoop slam right smack tab in the middle of the ring. This man is dirty, but he's also a professional wrestling personified. Oh, big line leveling the playing field. Look at the intensity in his eyes. Goes for the cover right now, smearing that dirt. And hold on, look at the size of... That's, that's, that's Tito Torres' new henchman we've seen here the past couple of weeks. Very mysterious, but apparently his name is Solomon. We're finding out tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Big right hook from the dirty man. Solomon is a... Big man, but luxurious hair. Oh, beautiful chop I've been, by the dirty one. I've been here a long time and I've never seen dirty man look up to anybody. Had a look up to Solomon to lock eyes, but not phase the dirty man through his vest in the opening right before the match started. Threw his vest right in his face. Oh, and Tito Torres taking advantage of that split second. Dirty man had his guard down, but wait a minute. Coast to coast. Oh, big clothesline. We're gonna see a little dirty strut. No, not here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. You're gonna to have to pay extra at the after show. Dirty man again, misses the splash. Telegraphed it coming in. Both men, neither one breathing hard. Just at, elite level athletes. Ducks under the clothesline. Oh, Beautiful. dirty man. Like a samurai sword cutting Tito Torres in half. He's doing this for his friend, Benji Neptune. Those two guys have a history together. Really good friends. Tag team here before on Proving Ground. And there goes the Dirty Man locking eyes with Solomon. Look at the size of that man. Look at that Dirty Man showing no fear, but a low blow from Tito Torres capitalizing on the ref's back being turned. Now Tito Torres on the offense, stopping him. Big Solomon making his presence fell twice now, and I'm surprised that the dirty one fell for it, but he did, and Tito is taking advantage. And how about the condition both of these men have showed up in here tonight? Conditioning one is one thing, but Tito Torres, I gotta admit, chisels out of stone. He looks like a young Ron Nimi goes oh for that count. Oh my God, stop it. I'm gonna blush. Dirty Devin reminds me in a huge way of, again, one of the biggest sleazeballs in professional wrestling, but a young gigolo, Jimmy Del Rey. 
I mean, they're just cut from the same cloth. The way he carries himself, the way he moves in her, there's, there's absolutely no wasted movement in anything that he does. Definitely, Gigolo, Jimmy Del Rey, one half of the Smoky Mountain Tag Team Champions. So many years ago, the Heavenly Bodies. Oh, look at the speed. The steel post, that hard turnbuckle, ladies and gentlemen. This isn't your California king size mattress. This Absolutely is not. Twisted steel and raw. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, wood planks. We'll get the. Again, you gotta. I don't know here. I, I think I go for the cover, at least mentally. Make your opponent register. Hey, he's got a two. You know, I need to get myself out of trouble here, but instead, going with the rear chin lock, I think it's kind of giving the dirty one a. a a chance to recover. I've already mentioned his cardiovascular conditioning. He's wearing him down. I've seen this strategy before. Look at how tight that chin lock is applied. Look at that. Wait, Dirty Man. No air is getting in between there. None's coming out, but Dirty Man fighting for dear life. Look at Tito Torres. Look at that. an accomplished athlete himself. Like I said, former tag team champion here at Proving Ground. Not letting go of that cover, wearing the Dirty Man down. Did he use the hair? The mullet, that dirty mullet here. Now Devin Diaz on the ropes. Tito Torres looking to take advantage. Taking it to him physically at this point. That's surprising me. I thought Tito was going to have to go the route of just out wrestling, but found out early on. Beautiful oh. drop kick. Catches him. Dirty drop kick again, but Tito well scouted. Right on top. Oh my goodness. Back elbow to the back of the skull of the dirty man. And he raked his back before dropping those elbows. Look at that. Oh, and now the ruthless stomps. The ruthless side of Tito Torres is coming out here, ladies and gentlemen. We've seen it when he turned on his on his brother, Benji Neptune. Goes for the cover, but not enough to put the dirty man away. What is it going to take for the dirty man to beat somebody like Tito Torres? When you got somebody with a mean streak and, and just completely on fire, almost right here, he needs mistakes like this. Tito getting distracted by the fans, and again, it's giving his opponent all the opportunity that he needs. All it takes is one shot. One shot and one shot he's about to give it to him. Tito Torres confidently taking his time. Dirty Devin Diaz now back to his feet. Oh, what a dirty move. Playing possum and there's no animal dirtier or filthier than a possum so it goes hand in hand with Dirty Devin Diaz. I'm not surprised one bit. Have you ever seen those nasty little things? Look at that, look at these nasty punches. Dirty maneuver by Clean in the textbook of yes. professional wrestling, utilizing the ropes at his advantage. Oh, look at that short tackle right now. I think he also has a football background. Dirty man now firing off. Goes for another thunderous body slam, but hold on. Tito slithers behind him into the corner. Dirty man, the speed of these two. Look at the body scissors go for the Look cover. at this. Oh. He got him. And look, he's like, of course I did. Look at this guy. Yeah, so what? Dirty maneuver, the dirty man utilizing the top rope. Now the rock, but hold on. There goes the goozle from Solomon. Look who it is. It's Benji Neptune. Oh my goodness. Steel chair cracking, but Solomon not face. Double goozle, the dirty man. Look at this beast, Solomon. Dirty tactic, oh, my ears just pop. The steel chair cracking. Why am I oh. not surprised that Dirty D is not afraid to lay it in with that steel chair across the gigantic back. But side by side, Look would you this. ever think you would have seen this? Oh, the, look at this. <laughs> Dirty man has a heart here. Showing concern for my old buddy, gentleman Jim Bragg. Oh, wait a minute. Uncut these ladies and gentlemen. Hold on. Oh, yeah. the chest bump. Chest bump. I love it. The odd couple. Uncut these two men here. Hey, Benji Neptune. There's few cleaner. He's squeaky clean. <laughs> And look at next, it is grimy, slimy, oh. dirtbag. I love it. What a beautiful alliance born here tonight. Beautiful indeed, Ron Nimi. 
What a proving ground it's been. Stay tuned, we got more action coming. the caliber of talent. There goes the bell. We got three former champions in the ring here tonight and a wild card, Zakyrus, filling in for Juice James, who was advertised, couldn't make it tonight, but Zakyrus is about to capitalize. Will it be his moment? We have a four-way number one contendership match for a shot at the Proving Ground champion, Rich Poya Ayala for the title. He was feeling gracious. But he sent Gus de la Vega in this match, handpicked him to be in this four-way. Then we got Drake Xavier coming off the heels of an impressive championship run. Multimedia champion, first ever WWN multimedia champion. And he's been on a hell of a run, but 
you talk about right place at the right time, Zacharias. I mean, to find himself in this match and for James to miss an opportunity like this has got to be killing him. But this is the definition of proving ground. This is the definition of professional wrestling. Always be ready because the opportunity presents itself and Zakairis, will he step up tonight and capitalize? You always have your gear with you. I don't care if you're on the card or not. Here we go. You knew it wasn't gonna take long. I've been, on paper, I'm wondering, you know, what kind of alliances are we gonna see or are we gonna see any? Oh! He said Gus De La Vega handpicked by Rich Boy and I ought to be in this match. But definitely the weak link here tonight. What a splash from Sakairas, Drake Xavier. And there he goes, ladies and gentlemen. Big Brick Energy in the corner. Getting a huge head of steam now. Clothesline up and over goes Gus De La Vega. I was ready to start reading off the impressive resume that he's had for the past couple years. But finding himself in all kinds of trouble right now is De La Vega. No. Frick. The cornerstone of Proving Ground here. He really is. The cornerstone of Florida. The most matches here on Proving Ground probably, ladies and gentlemen. I don't keep track of the statistics, but I call it like I see it. And what a spinning wheel kick that was from the former champ, Drake Xavier, looking to go one step above for the Proving Ground champion, the crown jewel. That's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. His quickness and his precision with those lethal kicks coming from all angles. It's impressive every time you see it. Frick, able to catch Zykaris, using him Whoa. as a weapon. Look at the strength of Frick. What a year it's been. This will probably, this will be a shot. Wait a minute, Gustav La Vega. I'm lost for words right now. What a, look at that, sneaking right in, slithering in the ring, stopping Frick's momentum. Yeah, repeatedly running him back first into that ring apron. That's been at least three times now. Frick's back has got to be shot. History lesson again, ladies and gentlemen. Your captain here to tell you Frick's had a long year with the set. Back and forth, cost him all his opportunities at the Proving Ground champion. What a win it would be for Frick to get right back in the title picture. What was that? Face first. No way to protect yourself. Cover, hook of the leg, not enough. Very impressive offense from Zakiris. A moment he would definitely need to capitalize. Open up the year 2024. Imagine that a number one contendership match against Rich Boy Ayala. An impressive couple of months it's been for Zakiris. Win after win. Oh! Full head of steam, missed that one. Drake Xavier, the veteran here. Once again, the educated feet of Xavier finding its mark. Look at this, such an unorthodox offense. Beautiful suplex. Smooth as butter, Drake Xavier. The dungeon master, the natural 20, looking to roll for a win here. And get a shot at the title. Rich boy, I don't, I don't even, they've only been in the ring about one or two times this year. Oh, Gusta La Vega. Capitalizing on the moment, and what, what a moment it will be if Gus De La Vega won here oh, tonight. Hanging neck breaker. Xavier in trouble. Yeah, it's you gotta wonder if he's just been biding his time until they came over to his neck of the woods and cut him off and in firm control. Look at the shape and the condition that man yeah, is in. Zero percent body fat. Very impressive. Definitely the veteran here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. DLB, thunderous chop, aiming for the fences across the chest of Zakiris. And what about the clashes of personalities we have here? We got Mr. DLB of the set, the flamboyant style of Zakiris, the natural 20 dungeon master, Drake Xavier and, and Frick. Oh, baseball drop kick. But they all have one thing in common, and they want that number one contendership for the championship. And will go to any lengths to achieve this victory. Now, as you see, De La Vega just dragging the eyes of Skyrus against that. Absolutely. Whoa. And Drake Xavier looking to regain his consciousness. I'm even shocked Drake Xavier showed up here tonight after those vicious pile drivers that put him out of action for a couple of weeks from Jonathan Hudson over the Multimedia Championship. Multimedia Championship, Jonathan Hudson not here tonight. 
but left his mark injuring Drake Xavier, but somehow made it into this contest because he wants that opportunity. Well, we say he's not here too, but if I'm Xavier, I got eyes in the back of my head because Hudson can be anywhere at any time, and he's got a mission to take out Xavier. Oh, breaks up the pin. Absolutely, looks impressive, but you got a question. What the hell of Drake Xavier is looking like? Definitely putting it at risk. Look at that shot, taking him off his feet, Drake Xavier. And now Mr. DLV now capitalizing on the misfortune. There's a Kyrus right back with a power slam. Goes for the cover. Drake Xavier. And look at the mean streak, the frustration in Drake Xavier. Giving him a receipt. Both men breaking up pinfall combinations. De La Vega. Hold on. What? Look at that in the corner of our eye, ladies and gentlemen. Steven Frick. The top rope, we've never seen it before. Unique offense. Seems like his leg is injured. Frick was able to land, but it seems like he's having a problem with that left leg. I don't think he can get up. Zakira's got him mounted. Oh, goodness. Fireman's carry into a spinning sidewalk slam. This is the moment he needs, ladies and gentlemen, but Frick, wow, scout in that hole, favoring that leg. Claymore kick. Fighting through the pain. These guys have been putting on week after week for 52 weeks. All year, what a year it's been for them. These men are beaten and broken, but not giving up. Don't want to miss a shot at the Proving Ground Championship. That knee of Frick is in all kinds of trouble and just drags himself to the corner. But goodness, look at it, giant bomb into the corner. And it's got to hurt him more than it hurts them. Look at him. That's what I'm talking about, Ron Emi. He's favoring that neck. He came out in the neck brace last week. But hold on, Frick. Spear. Spear. Frick looking to capitalize. He does it. Frick's the number one contender. A huge win for Frick. And now the championship committee will recognize this man as the number one contender for that proving ground championship. He says he wants that belt and he wants it now. 2023 has been a chase for Frick. And now 2024, he's going to open up the year with a title shot right back to the mountaintop. Will Frick do it, ladies and gentlemen? Stay tuned for the first episode of Proving Ground.
go. Wasting no time. John Strange buckshot Brian Brock. Going at it, throwing heavy artillery. Undoubtedly getting right to the action. Ladies and gentlemen, Sly Sly Stevens here covering the second half of this incredible episode of Proving Ground with my good personal longtime friend, Ron Neeby. Yeah, I was good to sit with the Sly one, my God. I felt that one. The whole building shook. There was just an Iceman Buck Quartermain sighting here tonight. All was cool when Florida legend shows up showing support, but Brian Brock, beautiful drop, toe hold. Oh! Just when you think we're gonna get to the wrestling action, we go right back to the fisticuffs. They're no just, surprise with these two. These two love it. They enjoy it. They want to fight. I mean, if you remember not too long ago at WWN's Battle for the Belts, John Strange won that Fifth Avenue Rumble. That was a street fight if I've ever seen one. Insane matchup. I was lucky enough to call that one, and truthfully, there was so much action going on throughout the building, it was hard to keep up, but John Strange come out as the winner. No surprise. I mean, he's used to that kind of action in the insane, insane asylum, and we're going to get... Definitely some of that same kind of action here tonight against Brian Brock. Did you hear the impact of the gigantic forearm of Brian Brock just lighting up John Strange? Referee Jim Bragg knows enough to keep his distance, give him some room to work with. These are big men. If I was the referee in this contest, I would just let these two Go at it, let them do whatever they have to do. The people want to see a fight and that's what they're going to give them. What if somebody tried to grease your palm a little bit though? Are well, you... I mean, I guess I could be swayed you know, in one direction or another, but either way, this is a match where these guys are just going to go balls to the walls, all out. Like, you got to stay out of their way. Beautiful. Knife edge, chop, and a gigantic mitt of Brian Brock. Leveling John Strange. And notice how the pace of this match has changed already. What started out as a house of fire has now turned into Brian Brock being in control, methodical, applying that chin lock. That elbow to the top of the skull. I mean, that could be a knockout blow. Staying on the ref, making sure Jim Bragg isn't going to have an easy night in there. Got to earn his keep as well. Hold on. Absolutely. This has been an incredible night of action thus far. This is a big event. That was almost it. Almost. John Strange showing that he still has a lot of life left in him. Firing away with that back elbow right to the gigantic mid-out. Drop kick! Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. For a man that size to get off the ground even a little bit is impressive. I'm impressed that every day I can get out of bed. This guy's flying around at that size. Just an elite level athlete. Sends in the skull of Strange right into that turnbuckle. I'm telling you, what a way to end 2023 with this big event. This episode of Proving Ground is going to prove to be a bang, a way to close out the year. Yeah, it's just been hot from start, and we haven't got to the finish yet. And the crowd just loving what they're seeing. I've seen them at intermission gather around trying to get a look at their favorite wrestler here to tell you john strange an elbow that short to the top of the cranium of brock is not going to slow him down what does he have in mind left himself wide open whatever it was elbow takes brock off the ropes john strange perched on top big cross body block cover but halfway across the ring i think the momentum of that cross body took him straight off of Brian Brock, not allowing him to go for that cover. Yeah, he just launched everything that he could get behind himself. When you're, It's like throwing yourself at a giant redwood or maybe a sequoia if you're that neck of the woods. No doubt, and this capacity crowd here at the WNTC tonight rallying behind John Strange. Oh, look at us. Like a, like a marksman with those beautiful jabs to the jaw of Brian Brock, who's obviously stunned, sent in. Oh, both men trying to clothesline each other at the same time, and Brian Brock is gonna win that battle 100% of the time, cover two counts. Oh, that was bowling shoe ugly, but effective nonetheless. What a beautiful night here in Pasco County. Said nobody ever, but here at the 
beautiful proving ground show. Hey, think this is it? He's got him. So close. I have seen John Strange put a number of opponents away with that version of the Black Hole Slam. I'm shocked that he was even able to get Brian Brock off of his feet. Brian crawling over those ropes that he was using temporarily to hold himself up, but reversing, sends Strange in, who uses the ropes right into a clothesline. I believe that's the end of the life of John Strange. You could count to a thousand. Let's get the official word. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you go for a blind move where you cannot see your opponent. You risk heavy, heavy What's trouble. He whipping with that bull rope. The assault is not over. Come on now. Where did Aaron Nova go? Maybe he can help and do something. Some, uh, somebody's got to go out on. there. Got to send some help. And There's Frick. Got Mr. That. Frick. Singapore Kane. Mr. Frick, who has had allegiance with John Strange over the last few weeks, not wanting to see his buddy get manhandled after the fact, coming out to make the save. Well, they were both on such a hot streak at this point, and to see it, chance at victory basically stole it. Frick's not going to stand idly by. What a wild match. the sound of the bell and we are off and running. Sly Sly Stevens here on the call with my good friend, the hardcore giant, Ron Nimi. Tag team extravaganza, to quote our friend Larry Legend. Loaded. So much young talent each and every time out at Proving Ground, but tonight is just something special. Absolutely, this is the second big tag match we've seen on this episode of Proving Ground. The Mad Men at work with a victory over couch change and now better together taking on Izzy and Sam C. We haven't seen Sam C here in a while. Yeah, Sam C is just one of those grinders. He's out there getting it done. 
taking bookings throughout the Southeast and happy to have him here tonight. And this guy takes his craft extremely seriously, but I get the feeling, truthfully, when you look across the ring at Better Together, this might be one of those hottest tag teams in indie wrestling right now, let alone Proving Ground. They absolutely are, and I think that begs the question, how are Sam C and Izzy, the lifeguard, who aren't normally a team, gonna be able to combat the cohesiveness of Better Together? Well, you look at the confidence on Izzy's face, and oh, right as I was about to say that I'm not worried about him early on, really quick two count, but able to escape out the back door and Sweeps the legs and now looks like a little surfboard action. Yes, catching a juicy wave. Succulent, if you will. Right into the arm drag is Horvitz and look at this flurry. Is a a glancing blow, but enough to say, hey, I gotta tag out to my partner Ori on the receiving end of that atomic drop. Got every bit of it. Slowed. Ori down, and here comes Sam C. Another one. It's an atomic drop factory between these two. Not another one. Three atomic drops and using Ori as a weapon. Hanging 20. Double surfboard. Living up to his name, the lifeguard. Calling his shot. Took too long, and again, I don't, maybe I'm just old fashioned. I don't think yelling out the move that you're about to try to execute, pretty pretty easy to defend at it if you're able to at that point. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. Sometimes you're, you telegraph the move by calling it out beforehand. Better together, they're wily and cagey. You cannot, you cannot take them lightly. Yeah, I never saw Nick Bockwinkle while defending the AWA World Heavyweight title yell out pile driver ever. Certainly not. And he sure had a hell of a run. Look at these two. And we say it time and time again, this is where Better Together is at their best when they isolate one of their opponents in their corner. And to see the, the positive attitude these two have with the horrors that are going on in their home country of Israel, it's like it's, Hold on a second, cover. Oh, that was it. But you know, they, they still have that same, just the same attitude that we've grown accustomed to. They, they're here to wrestle. They're traveling throughout, I think they were in CZW recently. They've been just, anywhere that they can get in reps against quality opponents, they're gonna do it. That's why we see them here so much improving ground. Absolutely, I was doing some investigative reporting earlier on and Whoa. Ori Gold told me that they are going to be taking a tour in Germany nice. in the coming weeks. Very nice. The International, globe yeah, Globetrotters at that point. Line tag, in comes Ori. Fires his partner in, but Izzy was just waiting. Catches both of them, but cut off. Right, look at Sam C just reaching. Izzy, once again, thought he was gonna get him out of that spot, but the referee being very lenient, having both better together in there for well past the five count. I mean, sometimes the referees get caught up in the action just as much as the wrestlers do, we know that. We've seen those relaxed rules in FIP. WWN knows what's up, they know what the people want. Absolutely. Two count. Love the, I love the cadence of the count of that referee. Consistent if he's anything. And no doubt, I mean, he's not afraid to slap that canvas. I've seen reps in the past where I thought they were trying to swim across the ring or something as they gently caressed the mat. Oh, oh nicely done, but a desperate hey, maneuver. Gotta get over there. Izzy needs to make the tag to Sam C. Otherwise, this one's gonna be over. Oh, there it is. Ask and you shall receive, Sam C. Like that. Double fist across the chest. The house of fire, Sam C, is wow. Changing directions real quick. That'll confuse your opponent. Look at Sam C. Big right. The people letting them hear it. Sam C, this remarkable athlete, great wrestler, made even more remarkable and great by the fact. Hold on. Two count, but Sam C is completely deaf. 
And for the fact that he competes at this level, while not being able to hear what's going on in the ring and around him, it's just, it, it's unbelievable. You would never know that that's a handicap that he is facing with the way that he can deliver in the ring. No, he's, he's something special, man. But despite not being able to hear, he certainly did not see that super kick coming. Glancing blow, turning their attention back to Samuel C. Oh! That's it. That tandem flatliner straight from the Holy Land. That's got to be it. Let's get the official word. from the fans and from the management here at WWN, and they have one goal in mind, to reclaim those WWN Proving Ground Tag Team Championships. Blake Bulletproof True, known for dropping warheads on people's foreheads. And my reputation at WWM Forward Pratt Pro hasn't preceded me coming here to WWM Proving Grounds. And y'all are in for a treat. Because it's about to be the wild, wild west when Cowboy and Bulletproof True step in the ring. Because I'm locked, cocked, ready to rock. Bang, bang. Wah! Hold on! Shut
cowboy kid. I'm just gonna assume that he lost a bet somewhere. Uh, Ron, um, typically, I, I, I'm not a betting man, but uh, this match is a lock. Look what? at this. Look at this specimen is putting it light. I, I, you can put pretty much anyone in there against Blake Group, and you pretty much know the outcome, but Andrew Mitchell, really? Rest in peace, Andrew. Does he have a death wish? Sometimes people enjoy being hurt. Some people enjoy being abused. Uh, oh my God! Even my good friend referee Jim Bragg is like, "Kid, are you? Are you sure?" Blake Troop notoriously dropping warheads on foreheads everywhere he goes. I mean, for those watching at home. If you've never seen Blake Troop in action, you're in for a treat. Uh, it, it's not going to be for the faint of heart, I'll tell you that. And if you're into ridiculously insane hot chicks, it's good to be around when Blake Troop's in the building because they surround the guy everywhere he goes. But when the bell rings, it's all business with Bulletproof Troop. Doesn't even wear boots. Those feet just taped up. I think I'd rather have a boot catch me in the side of the head than those. You could see the, uh, the hesitation on Andrew Mitchell. Hesitation? He's hoping he wakes up because this has to be a nightmare. Andrew showing up with hat, head, and everything. In there with just a human wrecking machine. You know, I don't know. Oh! No. Rob some. Look at the cauliflower ears. Blake Troop punches him right in the face. See, the, the WWN faithful here in Newport Ritchie are trying to rally behind. He caught him. Andrew Mitchell, but I don't know if that's a good idea. Can he take the big man off his feet? Unbelievable. Swinging with all that he's got. A shocking sign of offense, but as soon as it starts, it stops. Caught. In midair, what's setting him up for? Jeez. Big power slam. What a force to be reckoned with. The more the crowd cheers for Andrew Mitchell, the more it fuels the fire in Blake Troop's offense. It's like he's trying to rip the bone on that knee. This, this young man has to start worrying about fighting for another day, referee. Check that. Uh, oh my God. That's gotta be it. Like, a, it pretzel. like a pretzel. I'm just gonna say the same thing. Tapping, that's it. Ring the bell for God's sake. If you blink, you missed it. Let's get the official word. Another notch in the belt for Bulletproof Troop. Hopefully we see more of Bulletproof Troop here on Proving Ground, but either way, no matter where he goes, destruction is sure to follow. Go get it! Merry Christmas and a happy holiday. And send us with a little kind of us, has me put What you mean? <laughs> because we got the gift in a form of a rematch for the Proven Ground Tag Team Championship. Finally! This could be our shot, the brand title to back to the 305. Back to the 305, that's what I'm talking about. We can be two time champions. We're gonna three's three down! Three's down. Baby. three's down. Let's go get it. Ladies and gentlemen, the following tag team contest is set for one ball. And for the WWE Listen to the crowd. Fired up. Tag team titles on the line. Yeah, I like, like this team, man. Love their accomplishments and 
the fans have really rallied behind this tag team, and you kind of got that feeling of your, hey, we, we've seen them before everybody else. That's the feeling I get every time I see them. I mean, the future for, for these guys is just, the opportunity in the sky is the limit, but we're seeing them here right from the beginning, and watching them grow as a team, it's, it's really cool. It's hard not to take a liking to the Miami boys, and they have a tough test ahead of them, and they hope to walk away with the gold. Chetty and Puma Johnson may be popular, but listen to this. That's happening in here. You hear that resounding collective barking from the audience. That only means one tag team, your WWN Proving Ground Tag Team Champions. Father and son doing the unthinkable. Winning the Proving Ground Tag Team Champions together. I know how important this has been to Hound Dog, but you get the feeling when you see Gemini, this is just the first of what will be many accomplishments if he. Absolutely. Let's get that on. big fight feel with those introductions. Does. I've been telling everybody, anybody that'll listen, I've been telling them about this team. Fired up. I a, talk, a split right down the right middle. middle. I think many of them are cheering for both teams and talked to both teams earlier and enthusiastic to say the least, but the Miami boys still got it stuck in their craw that then they never actually got pinned in that four way and feel they really got a point to prove here tonight. Absolutely. And what a nice sign of respect at the beginning. Shaking hands. They're going to try to do this right down the middle, but. Tempers are gonna flare because both, both teams want those Proving Ground Tag Team titles. The Hound Dogs want to retain it. The Miami Boys, they want to regain it. Gemini, just soaking it in here. Can you believe this is the end of 2023? Just so much, so much cool stuff has just happened at Proving Ground and WWN as a whole, but to see this young talent develop and take things to the next level as we see here in this Tag Team Championship match. It's, it's really awesome being part of it. What a year it's been in 2024, shaping up to be another fantastic year for WWN. Yeah, there's no, no signs of slowing down. Proving ground here at this awesome facility and then we got the OCC Roadhouse and Clearwater, so many great shows from FIP and Shine. Woo, and speaking of not slowing down, Wow, the athleticism of Damian Gemini. Safe to say we have the two quickest members of each team in the ring right now. Pass by, swing and a miss, ducks under the clothesline, beautiful! Wow, a little tit for tat there. Yeah, like a shotgun drop kick, just leveling Gemini. Wow. Couldn't have said it better, tit for tat, drop kick for drop kick. What you can do, I can do better. This match is evenly matched at this point. Hey, asking the fans if they want to see the big dog. Here he comes. Seems like it would be a huge mismatch because of the size disadvantage, but... But the power oh, that of Puma, Puma Johnson. Man. Oh my goodness. We got the two big animals of the teams in the ring right now. 
A cat versus dog. You know that never ends well. Sends it big. Shoulder tackle. Leveling Puma Johnson, who able to roll forward. Goes for the drop toe hold. Gonna need a little bit more behind it, but how about the torque on that? Smart to try to take the wheels out from the big man, but he's a big guy to get down. Even sending him in for that whip. Hound Dog able to put on the brakes. Look at it. Wow. Nimble. Bullseye. And another drop kick. Sends the Hound Dog to the corner. How does Puma plan on following this up? Going right to the gut. That could be a weak spot. Only time will tell. Sends in Puma. Oh. Sets a trap and the Hound Dog falls into it. Quickly to the top rope is Puma Johnson. Big cross body. Hook of the leg. I don't even think that was a one count. Wow. The champs. Both teams understand the importance of this contest. It's gonna take a lot to put either of them down in this one. Catching Puma Johnson in midair, but Damian Gemini with the blind tag. We've seen this before. Beautiful teamwork. Making it all count. Retaining the tag titles. Incredibly Ooh. synchronized. You could tell that they have, they share the same blood. Father and son, they they do it better than most. Got about a two and three quarters there, because that was awfully close. But living the fight on are the Miami boys. Such athletes. Oh, able to catch Damian Gemini in midair. Big power slam. Beautiful leg drop. Cover, are we gonna have new tag champs? Just that close. Wow, the tandem offense from both of these teams is just fantastic. Chest first. Double knees straight to the back. Love that suplex, Malachetti rolls him. Hook and a leg again, Hound Dog breaks it up at two. Referee distracted. Chris Malachite, whether it's in a tag match or in a single scenario, really is a blue chip athlete. You are gonna see great things from here, from Chris Malachite, not just in 2024, but in the future. Puma puts his knee out there, his partner not taking advantage of it, but seems like they're on, I was gonna say, it seems like they're not on the same page of the playbook, but take that back as they rearrange the spine of young Damian Gemini. Seen the pain etched across his face. Two count only. Puma Johnson looks just, he looks fresher as the match goes on. Absolutely. I've watched Puma Johnson since he started in the professional wrestling industry. And something that I've always noticed that it takes him about 10 to 15 minutes just to get warmed up out yeah, there. Yeah, get, the, get into the right gear. Yeah, everybody, is, and it's just different with every athlete, but I'm glad you pointed that out, because I see it now. Yeah, he's he's going to the next gear right now. The rest are trying to get, get that wind as quick as they can, get that blood flowing through their joints. So much pain. Yeah, I love the teamwork. The Miami boys, like a well-oiled machine. Damian Gemini in a load of trouble right now. His father, the big hound dog, trying to make the save. Miami boys reminded me of a young soul man, Alex G. So much success through South Florida and been passing that wisdom on. Hey, look at, able to skin the cat. Damian Gemini, big knee strike. But he doesn't have any clue where he's at. That could have been a knockout blow. Chris Malachite definitely. Yeah, he caught him. I mean, it was flushed on the jaw. Yeah, he doesn't know where he is no. right now, Malachite. Completely. Seeing stars. Here comes the Hound Dog. Like a runaway freight train. House of Fire. And something that we can't forget is he might be a big dude, but he can move quick. Oh, yeah. 
quick as a cat. As quick as his son. Got him, the big man. Tag champion with a look of shock on his face. I'm, I'm not surprised because I was shocked. I thought that was it. Uh, Set him up. I thought it was going to be a lawn dart for a minute there. Uh, I've seen this before. Puerto Rican Hound Dog always goes up to that high rent district. But it didn't work out for him this time. Nobody home. They study the tapes. They watch their opposition and future opponents. The Miami boys are doing their homework. They were not. Oh! Eats a little feet there. Followed by Are a we code the breaker. beginning of the end here? Is that it? Are we looking at... What a close call. But even though this match hasn't been going on for very long, so many close calls at this point. People on the edge of their seat. And yeah, they may have paid for the whole seat. I told them earlier, you're only going to need the edge of it, folks. The Hound Dog wisely holding on. Big headbutt. We've seen this. Is it a twisting Samoan drop? Plants him. Look up top. His son, his partner. Frog splash. Beautiful. Gemini, Gemini. you got to cover him. This Look could be that. it. Let's get the official word. to shake hands. How about, how's that for class? Wow. A sportsmanship isn't dead. Just the way the match started ends the same way. A sign of respect between these two phenomenal tag yeah, teams. How good are both of them? Love everything I saw here tonight. WWN officials have booked me in the main event of the biggest show of the year for the heavyweight championship. Rich Port Ayala, I'm the only man in this company that's beaten you three times. I'm the only man in this company that's beaten you three times consecutively. So now tonight, I'm gonna bring the broom out, complete the clean sweep, and enter 2024, the new WWE Improving Ground Heavyweight Champion. Hey! Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a time for your. Yeah. 
you know as soon as that big mouth has entered the building, Nola lost with the normal Pasco County mental patients who must have been let out for the weekend or the holidays. That is if they are here legally, but that's it's a question for another time, folks. Ron, do you know what time it is right now? It is main event oh. time. Look at this. You know I'm a baby Keith guy. You, you got you one more it. match in you tonight. You know it. Oh, I'm ready to go. We just came off the heels of a fantastic tag team title match, and the Proving Ground Heavyweight title is on the line. Baby Keith, number one contender. I got a little, a little caught up in my dislike for Rich Port Ayala and really missed Baby Keith's entrance. Sorry about that, but the guy gets under my skin. I don't blame you. I have told you I'm a baby Keith guy, though. Yes. I think uh, you and everyone here at Newport Richie is a baby Keith guy. Just lovable, dude. Great talent. Blue chipper, as far as I'm concerned, but he's going to have his hands full here tonight because, again, I'm a. Unfortunately, was probably trying to bury this guy when he wasn't even the one coming to the ring, but you. If he's anywhere in the building, he's loud, here. Look, the stench of the set, it permeates yes. the building. No yes. doubt. It's like you're in, they don't, come, they don't come to a, they infect a building. That's what they do. They're not attending, they're not, they infect a building. Absolutely, I they do. I feel like I need penicillin every time I leave their presence. Ha, <laughs> no doubt about that. Look at baby Keith, just. Just one of those cool guys to be around. And Michael James smiling in the corner over there, but could be for any reason with that. Degenerate. Look at the immediate stare down. That it is well documented, the storied history between the Miami boys and the set. He comes straight from the 305. You can just feel it radiating from this man. Let's see if the champion gets the same reception. Before the bell even rings, Baby Keith, it's a date with destiny tonight. Baby Keith knows that it's for all the marbles. Yeah, with the size advantage he's given up, plus you got that meatball at ringside. Francisco Chiazzo, who threatened if he had to, he'd put the Godoykis on Baby Keith. Oh, come on now! Oh, getting involved right away. Referee. Oh! Jim Craig! Good call, Throwing Jim. Throwing him out of the building. It's about time. Get rid of the set. And this isn't the first building that Chiazzo has been thrown out of. Up and over it goes, maybe keep, but Ayala's got to be a little surprised. This did not start out as planned. I can guarantee it. Certainly not. And before the ring introductions, I was about to say the storied history between the set. Oh! Did you oh. hear his skull? Hey, hold up. Caught in those ropes. Baby Keith could be hurt seriously here. He's bone and flesh and concrete come on. Ref, get between them. Yeah, it's, he can't defend himself. This could be it right here. Rich. Just come on, up. Rich. Go for the pin. Drags his carcass to the middle of the ring. This is turning into a scene from Special Victims Unit. Clearly, it's not enough just to beat the guy. He has to put the beat down on him. I don't know, you, you don't have to prove anything else. 
mocking the fans, using lewd gestures, which normally I approve of, but this is a family setting. Behave yourselves, Richport. They already don't like the guy, Baby Keefs, and he's in a lot of trouble. Baby Keefe and Richport Ayala have been going back and forth, having matches throughout the last couple of months. Some where Baby Keefe has come out on top in a non-title situation, of course. But Richport Ayala, I think he knows that Baby Keefe might have his number. Just fires that shot right to the ribs, and now he just stomps and putting all his weight. Baby Keith is feeling the effects of the methodical, like a surgeon. Look at that beautiful body slam, nonchalant cover. Come on, Richport. I don't, I don't like when you waste an opportunity. Now he disrespectfully slapping him across that dreadlocks. You know, now I, Baby Keith had enough wherewithal to kick out, but I'm telling you that shot to the wall, the head oh, smack against the wall. I, Sounded. Baby Eve doesn't know where he is right now. No, you heard how just disgusting that sound. It is. Be worried about a skull fracture. Richport Ayala, not worried about it all, and sends him in. What? No. Keith is probably running on instinct right now, if nothing else. I don't think I like that gesture that Richport's doing. It makes me feel uncomfortable. Firing away with the forearms, Baby Keith. Maybe tonight's not the night, my friend. Live to fight another day, perhaps, but Richport Ayala is unhinged today. Yeah, he's, seems like he's just been melting down mentally over the, with the more success he sees, the worse he's handling it. I mean, this is definitely a different Richport Ayala that we have seen in the past couple of weeks, a more aggressive Richport Ayala. Look at Terry. At the eyes. No regard for the rules. I mean, but he also knows if he gets disqualified, he keeps the title. Champion's advantage. Takes that forearm and blasts it across the back. Baby Keith, you think I could pull off Baby Ron? Or is it too late in the game for that? I mean, I question the hardcore giant monitor, <laughs> so I don't know, man. Too late now. Come on. Don't you dare threaten Jim Bragg. Richport Ayala just lewd and You're crude today. You said it, he's out of control, man. Baby Keith is signed on to compete as a wrestler. Jim Bragg is the senior official, and you're gonna raise your hand to this man? You wanted the champion, huh? Hey. Oh! Doesn't stop from Jim from doing his job, though, does it? Baby Keith firing away. Finally coming back with some offense. I mean, again, I hate to harp on it, but that shot he took to the wall really took so much out of him. This is the first time that Baby Keith has shown any offense, and beautiful DDT stuck him. Out of nowhere, straight, head first, skull to the canvas. Richport Ayala stunned. Baby Keith trying. He's more worried about getting back in the game than winning here. He's got to figure out where he's at. Listen to these fans of the 727 switching allegiances to the 305. Like a whole group of Benedict Arnolds, you can't trust none of them. <laughs> the WWN faithful definitely behind Baby Keith in this one. Yeah, I guess. Can't blame him. If you're gonna switch alliances and entire area codes, that's the guy to do it for. Absolutely, I think this this crowd wants to see a new proving ground heavyweight champion tonight as much as the rest of us do. And it, 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 you get the feeling that the fans, they pretty much just, they picked this guy. They Absolutely. got behind him. Baby Keith, he felt it and did everything he could to live up to the hope and expectations and here we are. When Baby Keith first arrived on the scene here in WWN. I mean, yes, of course, he's talented, but he was a real dark horse. But the crowd has really adopted him completely. Taking him in as one of their own. Got that crossbody block, hook and a leg, I think. A little low on the crossbody, and Baby Keith, I mean, I hate to say it, doesn't really have the body weight to keep no. down someone like Rich Ayala. But he you're, needs an, a, he's going to throw offense. everything at him that he can. I mean, again, desperate times call for desperate measures. You have to. 
Referee checking both competitors. The safety of both wrestlers is the prior, that's the primary job of the referee. Baby Keith on the apron waiting for Richport. Perched on that top rope, misses the springboard, but quick as a cat landing on his feet. Couldn't get away from that spine buster. Oh, two count only. Spine buster is a very fashionable move here tonight. Seen it at least three different times, but it's a little it different when it comes from Ridgeport Ayala. It really is. It's just got something, something more behind it. He's able to elevate them before bringing them crashing to I the mean, canvas. Ridgeport Ayala is what six five, yeah, six he's six, big tall guy. So, so arrogant, so sure of himself. Going to be set him up for that Port Authority, taking too much time. Giving Baby Keep that extra advantage. Going for that stunner, but Rich Ayala oh. able to shove him off, and that's got to be it. A close call, if I've ever seen Where that. does he find it? Baby Keith still in this match somehow. He needs to dig down deep. Very deep. Go down, go into those reserves, no. and he's got to pull out all Just the stops. Go all the way past the solar plexus and keep digging. You're going to find what my partner here is trying to tell you you're looking for. Richport Ayala just disgusting. You could tell Richport's frustrated at this particular point in time. Yeah, he's, he, he feels he's too good. He, he thought he had an advantage when he threw Baby Keith into the wall like that. Yeah, but he don't feel Baby Keith even deserved the title shot. No. Well, he did. And he survived this long. This man has been known to thrive. Come on! Stop wasting time. See, he wasted his time. Baby Keith able to escape. Beautiful! There Cutter. it is. There's that ace crusher type maneuver. Are you serious? I, what's it gonna take? I'm almost speechless. Baby Keith. Because I've seen Baby Keith put away a number of opponents with that particular move. Do you oh. see the shock look on my face? I absolutely do. I wish the people at home could see it as well. I don't think they're equipped to see this level of shock. Baby Keith, this is his next mode. This is his next offensive maneuver. That Swanton, if he hits this, it's got to be it. Nobody home. Taking too long. Really just... Sending a telegram. But you can imagine the exhaustion is built up to this point, like just climbing to the top rope. He literally could have went to Western Union and sent a telegram quicker than how much he telegraphed that huge move, and he's paying the price for it. That's what happens when you're in there with Rich Portayala. Ron, I have to admit, you have some of the best analogies when it comes to describing the action in the ring. They just come to me. You got, it's almost like you have two brilliant minds. The referee counting both men out, but uh, I'm gonna tell you, this ended a double count out. Good luck getting out of, the, out of this building. No, there would the be a riot, a riot for sure. Baby, keep hooking him again for that cutter. Up the rope, no! Looked like he was going for slice bread number two and instead, He's dropped in a vicious manner. Well, two things definitely got hurt on that one. No doubt whatsoever. Richport, very crafty, using every part of the ring, every part of the building to his advantage at this point. Maybe Keefe's gonna be singing tenor going forward. There it is, the Port Authority, that's gotta be it. Let's get that official word. Ladies and gentlemen, what a match to top off an incredible night of action on this edition of WWN Proving Around. Richport Ayala looking at that championship belt almost in shock, in amazement that he was able to 
hold on to the belt. Again, Bridgeport doing everything, everything he needs to do to keep that belt. 2023 was a great year for Richport Ayala. 2024, looking up for him and the set. Hey, we're here for the season finale of 2023. And I mean, just so much incredible action here in Proving Ground, but across WWN Live. And hey, we're just getting started, folks. We've been around for a long time. We know what we're doing. We give you what you want to see. And 2024 is going to be enormous. For WWN, for the Proving Ground, hey, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Thanks to the fans for coming out and supporting us as they do every Friday. Hey, you're going to be ready to do this again in 2024? I am so excited for next year, Ron. It has been an absolute pleasure. This night has been fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, happy new year. Have a happy and healthy one, and we will see you in 2024.